and welcome to another Hero Arts video tutorial. My name is Britta Swiderski from BrittaSwiderski.com and I'm stopping by on the Hero Arts blog today to show you something that I've been playing a lot with lately called Neon Ink Color Mixing. This is a technique that I came up with when playing around with the neon inks and trying to get more uses out of them. Um, neon is a super hot trend right now and I know that I've collected personally all of the neon inks and I really like mixing colors. Colors kind of like my favorite thing about crafting. Um, so this is how this came up. I actually have a color chart um, and I'll have this up in the blog post as well that you can print off and make your own if you wish where I show the different combinations of neons and also um, some alternatives using something other than the three primary colors which are blue, um, red, and yellow or blue, pink, and yellow in this case. Um, but my favorite one is this blue and pink combination, the neon blue and the neon pink. And you can see they pr make this beautiful purple color when they overlap. I also really like the neon blue and the neon purple together because they create a really great combination over top too. Um, I actually have a card I made using the neon blue and the neon pink and um, on a previous blog post using the hexagon background and I just love this technique so much. This is what I first used this technique on. But today I wanted to try it a little bit differently. Instead of using the same background and then turning it and stamping again, I wanted to try doing some hearts in kind of a solid image and then stamping a background over the top of it. So you'll get to see the color mixing in action here. So I have a card front ready to go. This is just four inches by five and a quarter inches. It'll be perfectly matted onto a card base. And I'm using the heart from the Year Round Sentiments Clear Stamp Set and the Sweet Thread Spiral um, from the Hero Arts and Basic Gray um, from a couple years back, but it's still one of my very favorite stamps. So I'm going to start out by inking up my heart and stamping it in a somewhat random pattern all over my card front. Now I'm going to go ahead and ink up my spiral background stamp really well with the blue neon ink and then I'll just flip my hearts right on to my background stamp and then press over it using a piece of type paper just to kind of block my hands from getting too much ink on them. And now you can see we have this pretty funky um, three-tone pattern using only two inks. So now we can make this into a card. All right, so now that we have our background ready to go, we can start putting our card together. So I have some Hero Arts craft cardstock that I cut down into a card. And then I have this sentiment, I thank my lucky stars for you from the same year round sentiment set. And I'm going to stamp it on this one and a half inch wide piece of paper in white. And I can make a cute little banner actually going to stamp it pretty far over to the side here so that I can cut my banner however long I want to. And then I can start adhering everything down. I think I'll round the corners on this piece just to make it a little bit less harsh on the corners. And then I can go ahead and mark where I want my banner ends to be. And then also maybe where about I want my banner to go into and trim that down. And then before I adhere this to my card, I'm actually going to do another banner around it with some thicker vellum. I've been really liking to do this lately, especially with more vibrant backgrounds, because it really focuses your eye in on the sentiment. So I can just cut this about a quarter of an inch wider around the entire outside of my white piece, and then glue this white piece directly onto the vellum, and then I'll have a perfect way to adhere it onto the card, just by using foam adhesive behind my white sentiment piece. And now just to add a little bit more sparkle and to kind of anchor my sentiment banner down, I'm going to add in some pearl or some gems. These are the Hero Hues gems and I 
use these like they're going out of style. I use them so often on everything because they're perfect for, you know, Copic coloring. You can Copic color right on top of them. And I really like to just kind of cut them apart. Usually not on top of my craft sheet. Don't follow my example. Um, cut them apart and place them individually, which is really great. Or you can place them as a string. So I'm just doing five little gemstones on the side of the card here. Okay, so now that I have my gems put on, I think I'm going to add a little bit more color by adding some neon ink into the stars using a paintbrush. Just put a little bit of the color down on my work surface here. And then I can pick it up with the paintbrush and then go in very carefully and add in the neon pink. And this doesn't have to be perfect as long as you just try to stay the in lines the best you can. Because I'm just going to put some glossy accents over this to really make it pop off and that will smooth everything out. Okay, so I painted in my neon stars here and then I just went over and dabbed some glossy accents on top of them. I didn't even bother to go and get the specific spots, but I kind of made them like an enamel dot, which I think is a really hot trend right now. So kind of going with the whole spirally corner rounded thing. Um, I thought it went pretty well. So I think that completes our card for this week. I hope you enjoyed learning about neon ink color mixing and we'll go over and check out the Hero Arts blog for the color chart that I've made and you start experimenting with your own neon inks that you have on hand because they, because they work so well when you use them together. You can create subtle looks, you can create not so subtle looks like the one that I did today, but most of all you can just create really fun things that I didn't even know were possible a few weeks ago. So that's really fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see more of me, you can check me out at my blog at BritaSwitterSki.com. And thank you so much for stopping by today. I'll see you again next time on another video tutorial. Mm -hmm.